Let's take a look at the oscilloscope's trigger. Trigger, literally understood, means that the oscilloscope has encountered our preset conditions, thereby initiating the capture action and displaying the waveform on the screen. If the presets are incorrect, the pattern on the screen will continuously move, just like it is now. So, how should we set it to obtain a stable and referenceable waveform image? First, you need to select the trigger edge. Press the menu button, then press the right arrow button. You can choose the rising or falling trigger edge using the F to button. Next, determine the trigger source. You need to specify which channel's waveform you want to trigger. For example, if my current waveform comes from channel 2, I need to select CH2 in the option next to the trigger edge. Now, Press the menu button again, and then press F3 to adjust the trigger cursor for channel 2. We use the up and down keys to adjust the reference voltage of the trigger cursor. When you press the up and down buttons once, the voltage value on the left side of the battery icon at the top right corner will change. That would be the numerical value of the trigger cursor's reference voltage. We adjust the trigger cursor voltage to be within the waveform voltage range and the waveform stabilizes. Let's now explore some additional features. When we press the menu button, then the right arrow key, followed by pressing the F1 key, F1 corresponds to a trigger mode. You can adjust among three trigger modes using F1 key, the default is automatic, and you can switch it to normal or single. In automatic mode, the oscilloscope triggers even if it doesn't encounter a signal that meets the preset conditions, resulting in continuously scrolling waveforms on the screen. When we are unfamiliar with a waveform signal, choosing automatic mode is advisable. Although the waveform is not stable, it can provide a reference for our next adjustments. In normal mode, the oscilloscope displays the waveform on the screen only when it captures the preset waveform, if no trigger occurs, the upper right corner will display weight and the screen refresh will pause. When a signal has longer trigger intervals, it is advisable to choose normal mode. Otherwise, in automatic mode, it may capture noise that interferes with measurements, whereas normal mode only displays the preset waveform when triggered. The last mode is single trigger mode, also known as SCQ. In this mode, the oscilloscope displays only the first signal that meets the trigger conditions. Afterwards, the oscilloscope remains in a stop state. Single trigger mode is used to capture non-repetitive waveform signals. For example, a power on signal generated when a circuit is powered would only occur once. If you don't use single trigger mode, it's difficult to capture this signal.